Well, I commend you on your perseverance. You've now made it to the last phase of the Demaic modeling process in Lean Six Sigma Green Belt Training. What we're going to talk about now is the control phase of Demaic. Now, control is the phase where we're reverting from a project uh, approach to improvement back into daily management or the routine work of the organization. And what happens in control is we want to be able to sustain the improvement that we've been able to demonstrate in the improved phase. The control phase is going to specify all of the work processes that will be used in the final approach to the problem that we've been able to resolve. It begins with the implementation plan and it ends with this uh, benefit capture plan and realization review where we actually see what is the benefit that's been obtained from our improvement project. Some of the questions addressed are, what is the standard work that must be done? What are the factors that we're going to manage on a routine basis in the process? What are the tolerance limits for the bands of performance of those factors? How will we maintain the process? What training do the operators need to be able to operate this process? How will we prevent errors from creeping into the work that those operators are doing? And then what action plan are we going to have to implement? How will we extend these benefits to other parts of the organization that could use the lessons learned? And then how will we actually capture the benefits in the real world to make sure that those benefits are observable in our financial management systems? So the methods that we use are mistake proofing, statistical tolerance analysis, daily work discipline, process monitoring and control, standard operating procedures, control plans, implementation plans, benefit capture plans, and finally the realization review. Now what's actually happening here is we are going to be uh, looking at a, a methodology that gets us to a new process capability. We talked about process capability, CP, and what's going to happen is we will not immediately have the best performance capability. And so we will marry this standard control that we have with new continual improvement processes that will happen within the routine work of the organization. This is going to be part of the continual improvement activity of daily management. And so the workers will continue to work to eliminate waste, loss, and inefficiency as the process matures over time. Now what we see is we have had one approach in terms of improvement where we just keep investing in new capability. So we buy new design levels of capability. Those are like breakthrough projects. But if we don't have some sort of approach that deals with the natural effect of entropy or the degradation of the process, then what we'll see is we have to just keep introducing new investments into the organization. What we're going to be doing in this control phase is identifying how do we blend the improvements we make from a breakthrough project, like a black belt or a green belt project, with the continual improvement work that's being done by the routine team that's managing the process. And the strategy is to apply unrelenting pressure to improve the process at the point of its greatest need. So there'll be a multiplying effect between the project work that we do, which goes beyond the capability of the normal team to do their routine work, and then the routine improvement activity that goes on as a Kaizen or continual improvement type of process with the workers. Control is the desired state. We would like to have a predictable outcome of our processes so that we can understand and forecast what to expect in the future. So control activities create a standard way of working to hold the gains from our project improvement activities. What we'll do in the videos is you know, we'll start focusing on some of those improvement things that we can do to put the process into a state of control and then to allow us as the management team to be able to rely on the outcomes that we can produce with this new way of working.